Hi, I'm Lucy Baker. I'm from Oxford University and I'm in a Transport Studies unit um, under the supervision of Dr Tim Schwannen. I'm in Mobilities and I'm researching the use of big data. So as it's collected in the city transport system through um, digital mobile wallets, so people are making electronic payments for their transport whilst using Uber and Ola taxis and then sort of following. So the method is to kind of get a mapping idea of where the data kind of is produced and then what happens to it after, so how it's used for analysis by companies in the private sector and also perhaps by governing bodies such as the bus company, the rail company, in a way that we can learn about how people travel around Bangalore, which is the case study that I'll be looking at. So I'm going to be working with some of the user lobby groups, um, hopefully here in Bangalore, and learning about how they use um, big data applications, so within their smartphone, and how that might work for them, and also users that don't have an access to technology, what are the implications for them? So the data kind of spreads through the city in quite disrupted ways um, and it might be that technology in the infrastructure isn't always there. So in terms of users it's about sort of learning how um, applications on smartphone is useful for them and how it might be improved in the future um, but also how people can continue to access the transport system if they don't have an access to technology and how the transport system will remain affordable and accessible. So part of my project is going to be working with um, diverse stakeholders. So transport systems have a lot of different actors working within them. Um, we've got private sector, like I mentioned, Uber and Ola, um, some rickshaw private operators. And then we've got government groups, various regional groups, and then national groups working in India. So I want to bring them together in a couple of workshops and through interviews and some ethnography and get them kind of like learning from each other about what each different stakeholder does um, and then how big data is sort of emerging through technologies like e-wallets and the smartphones um, and GPS. So the final contributions to that hopefully will be so that governments can learn from private market about what data is produced where, its application in the transport system, and then what we can learn from users and how this might benefit users and transport operators um, and how the transport system will be more effective, how it will be more manageable, um, how it might be better regulated and more sustainable.